Hello, welcome to After Effects Tech Desk. I got a question from an editor that was getting confused about the difference between the anchor point tool and the pan behind tool and the best way to animate an image inside of a mask. So if you click the Y key or up here, you can select the anchor point slash pan behind tool. You can see it there. And what this does is if you uh, try and rotate or scale this, you can see it's doing that from the middle right now. And if you hit that tool and click and drag on the anchor point, you can change where you do that from. So um, the other, the pan behind tool is if you draw a mask on top of the image and you want to reposition the image with inside, inside that mask, then you can use this same tool. Now, the only difference is that you're going to just not click on the anchor point itself. If you click on the anchor point, it's going to be the anchor point tool and you'll be moving that. If you click outside of it, you'll reposition the image with inside the mask. Now, if you need to animate that with inside the mask, this is really not the best tool to use. The best way to do this would be to actually create a new layer. And my best, my favorite way to do this is to create a shape layer. So if you click the mask tool or the letter Q and with nothing selected, click and drag, you will create a new shape layer. And then while you could use a solid and mask that to use as a matte layer, this is nice because it gives you some parametric values that you can animate and gives you a lot of control. So let's say uh, we'll set this track mat. You set the lower one to alpha mat, and that will use this layer above it. If you set it to inverted, obviously you'll see the inverse, but we want to see that. And so now if we position, or let's say scale and rotate, set a few keyframes, you can see that that's happening inside of that mask. And the other great thing is that it, let's say we want to transition that mask on, you could create a, a barn door effect or something like that just by animating these uh, parameters to change the size of the mat itself. And this is great, really flexible, and it's really handy because now you can change out the image and have the same thing if the client changes their mind or uh, let's say you even need to change out um, a stock image with the high res or whatever, you can hit control alt and forward slash to switch the image or just hold alt while you drag from the project onto the new layer and you'll see how that works. So that's the tip for today and thanks for watching. If this helped, please like, please subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as soon as I possibly can. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.